What about the ARB twin compressor with its 4 litres air tank we have since 2018? I'll break down into a few key points the advantages of having an onboard twin compressor with an air tank like the ARB twin compressor with its 4 litres air tank. Stay until the end to watch its reinstallation we've done a few days ago. We all know the importance of tyre pressures when we go four wheels driving. The first thing we do is lower down the tyre's pressure to make sure we get the best traction when off-road. It's easy to deflate and have fun on tracks, but there's nothing more important than reinflating tyres when getting back onto the road. Driving on concrete roads with under-inflated tyres is extremely dangerous. Yes, we've experienced both situations before not deflating the tires because our previous compressor was crappy as hell and driving on road with deflated tires because too lazy to reinflate the tires between tracks. Depending where you are going off-road isn't exactly the same. For example, in Europe, it's quite rare to have a 100% off-road track on several hundreds of kilometers. Deflating and reinflating the tires can be a true pain if not properly equipped. This is why I highly recommend you to invest in a reliable and trustworthy compressor like the ARB twin compressor with the one gallon air tank. Whether it be an onboard compressor like we've done it or a portable one, which is in fact the one we bought but installed it as a fixed accessory in our Defender, it's always best to carry a compressor in your four-wheel drive. Getting a twin compressor is a real game changer in the airflow. It's going to be the fastest fill compared to a single compressor. When you end your off-road track, you want to get back on track as quick as possible, either to go back home or to continue your road trip right having that twin compressor with that quick inflation is honestly a must-have we really love having our ARB twin compressor for that purpose no one likes waiting for tires to air up and a bonus for us is that the kids like helping on that side now what are the benefits of having an air tank linked to the compressor the air tank helps a lot in reducing the filling time when inflating all fours no more wait time is required what happens is that when you disconnect uh, the hose from the tire, the compressor doesn't stop working and continues to fill in the air tank. Like this, you can use it with no wait time on the next wheel. Are there any other useful applications having an air tank with the twin compressor? You can use it for air tools, a rattle gun for example. <laughs> we also use it to blow off dirt inside of the Defender during our longer road trips or for example before the anti-rust treatment of the chassis we've done last year. Blow off the moisture or small dirt. There are many different uses for pneumatics, especially out there with a 4x4 vehicle. You could also use it as a hair dryer. <laughs> like this. No joking. Don't offer that solution to your wife. You're gonna get kicked out of your four wheels drive. What's the advantage of having the compressor mounted on board? When it's mounted inside of your four wheels drive, it's always there. You don't need to think about it it's always ready to be used. Because obviously, the day you leave your portable compressor at home is the day you'll need it the most. Might not be for an off-road trip, but you might have a flat tire that would need airing up on the side of the road, or if you have some air lockers, it's another application, an air suspension, um, or maybe just to help someone that is stranded on the side of the road. You understood the ARB twin compressor with its four liter air tank has many advantages but the main one is the faster inflation time but I mean way faster this one has also an inbuilt cooling system that keeps the entire system cooler we can use it at a hundred percent for several vehicles in a row without worrying about it overheating or shutting down an on-stop use means you get back on the road quicker than ever Another great point is that you can mount it anywhere. No worries about water or dust, it's IP sealed and can go underwater if driving through a river. 
Depending where you install it, you have to be careful about the air intake and isolate it like a breather, for example. You might want to know how long it takes to air up our tires with this ARB twin compressor and the one gallon air tank. Honestly, I don't know. We will have to share this with you when our camper setup is done, completely done, and that our compressor is connected, and also when we have our mud tires on. If you want a dependable, tough enough compressor, usable on the very long term, we can recommend this ARB products with confidence. The technology and engineering put in their products is real. And it's maintenance free and serviceable, so you can replace all the parts if needed. We love plug and play products, so if you do too, click the like button. Okay, let's move on and go back to a few days ago when we reinstalled this cool accessory in our Land Rover Defender. Where's the compressor? It's not in the portable case. No, it's installed in the Defender. We are installing the first accessory back in the Defender. It's the ARB Twin Compressor. We have this one for a few years now. We brought it back directly from Australia when we were having a road trip over there with a rental car. We chose the one that is available when you buy it in the case and that has everything needed with uh, some switches, all the connections uh, done properly in the case because we used it over there and then when we came back home we decided to have it fixed in the car. I won't lie to you, it was complicated to bring it back because as we were flying back home we weren't too sure if we could have it on the plane. Honestly, the, the twin compressor with the one gallon air tank in the plastic case looked a bit like a bomb. We chose this one because before going to Australia we saw some great reviews on this air compressor and we wanted one that would be very efficient and easy to use. It's quite compact and we found the best place to put it for our new setup. It's a kind of a dead place under the back seats. In fact, we could have uh, put it there before but with our previous setup, it was just fixed on the wooden layout. In our previous setup, we had the air tank fixed this way and we never <laughs> made a drain hole. Now we want to fix it this way because when it's fixed this way, you can evacuate the condensation that is inside of the air tank just by using the compressor. Nothing goes as planned and the place where we wanted to fix the compressor isn't an easy place to fix it because um, we have to be able obviously to screw the compressor on the body of the Defender but it, the holes aren't accessible under the body of the Defender so now we have to think more where to place it
in the defender today is the. Fait plus de bruit. First accessory we are putting back in the defender. Tu vas faire ça combien de fois? J'essaye, c'est tout. 